welcome to MailSoft tutorial today I am going to demonstrate you how to read and write a file from a directory with the use of file transport let's go ahead and create one project I'll create one sample project just give any name now we need a file protocol so we need a file connector so let's go and add in a palette now we have a file let's use for the source we are going to use this operation on new or updated a file here I will create one connector configuration with default settings that's it we are going to read a file from this directory just There are multiple parameters here which we can select depends on our requirement like time between side check unit, side check and this is very important like frequency, start delay and time unit. We can change, we can check depends on our requirement. So at this moment I keep as it is like the simple with default value. So and we can see auto delete is a false so if we read the file then we have to especially we need to delete a file otherwise source will keep calling the file so let's go ahead and add simple a log at this moment okay here we will just add the log payload here so we can see what output we are getting here and here we can call delete which will delete the file we can select this same connector configuration and in this we need to use the file path so it will delete we need to provide the path and we can give here path it will automatically take this uh, file path because file path is coming as part of the attribute properties and it should delete the file let's go ahead and start the application finance mail application meanwhile I will also create one here one sample file which we can use to drop for testing we can write here something So let's wait meanwhile application is deploying so application has successfully deployed now let's go ahead and we will drop one file here file has been dropped let's go here and in the console we can see one logger where we can see this complete MailSoft tutorial and there is no file here but we don't know the file name here what the file we got processed so let's do some meaningful name provide here meaningful name so then we can identify here we can define here something like Can 
giving to the referral part plus Payment you say file point or can I have given it to? So this is fine, but there is a one problem. Problem is like uh, output so this received file is a string but payload is kind of the byte array so we have to define in the logger like we need output into the plain text so we need to define here something like this output text slash plain Let's wait for to redeploy. Okay, application has been redeployed now. I will go here. And let's see. Now we got the complete detail. We got the file path as well, which file we processed, and the payload as well. Now let's go ahead and we can we have completed the read operation now we can write as well now we will use the write operation here where I'm going to give the so we can select the same file config and we have to define the path which is where we are going to write the so here I will give the directory name first this will be my output directory so I'll give this directory name I'm using window machine so if you are running onto the Mac or Linux so use the directory based on now this is the directory name but we have to give the file name as well so let's do one thing we can take this file name same as the input file name we have to just define like this so now we are reading the file logging writing as well and then after that deleting the file as well read write delete so application has been started now let's do one thing I'm going to copy in output directory there is no file now so I'm going to give one file here in input directory file gone from here and we should be getting okay we got the file here okay so there is one mistake here in this right I have to give one backslash more so let's see yeah it will redeploy now I will delete the file from here yeah. okay so I will place the file again Put here. So file gone from the source directory and we can see the file into the target directory and same thing we can see the logger as well so from this exercise we have learned that how we can read a file from any directory and we can write and delete as well so I, this sample application I will upload at the sample repository location and you can clone this git repository and play around that Thanks guys for your time.